It was impressive. There was a lot of, lot of impressive, you know, things about that game, the way the guys kept battling and, um, you know, stayed after it, you know, trying to put together good at bats when we were down. Um, Keller came in and, um, you know, held the fort right there, three tough innings, get us to Kelvin. So, uh, you know, gave us a chance to um, hold uh, where we were, which was down one, and take the lead. So uh, it was a great job by him. Take it inning by inning with him, and then you just sort of continue to look impressive. Well, yeah, we were, our plan was to send him out there for two innings, and then and really see you know where we were at that point. And then after uh, you know after the second inning, um, you could see that his uh, four seamer was working really good, had had a lot of life, a lot of action to it, and we felt good about sending him back out for the third inning. Uh, kind of a team effort to get back in the game, but uh, Sal with the big hit to put you over the top, he seems to have a knack for, for that. And is that something maybe you missed the you know the first couple of weeks of the season? Well, he, he does have a knack for it, and um, you know against a tough pitcher. So I mean that was a big hit there. But you know we we had some big at bats. Uh, you know John Jay's at bat. Uh, you know, drive in two runs. I think Lucas Duda had three hits, um, if I'm not mistaken, three doubles. And there's a lot of guys swinging the bat really well. Esky with a couple of, you know, a couple of knocks. So. Impressive. <laughs> you know, Burge kind of worked himself into trouble, but he worked himself out of that too. He worked himself into trouble. I mean, and just threw more balls and strikes. And you know, um, we, our plan for him was to try to go multiple innings with him too, but. Um, you know, just erratic, uh, you know, in the strike zone. And, uh, you know, we climbed back in it. When, once we got back to one, it was like, okay, we're going to go with the, you know, go with our guys out there to, or go with, um, you know, Keller, try to hold it right there, see if we could take the lead. Pamela had settled down there for the second and third inning. What, what just went wrong? <clears throat> um, I don't know. He just kind of hit a wall. He threw more pitches in the fourth inning than he did in the first three. So, um you know, I, I thought the pitch to Ramirez in the first inning wasn't a horrible pitch. It was kind of a, you know, um, down and away and, you know, just a good piece of hitting, but just, you know, got his pitch count elevated uh, in the fourth inning. And uh, like I said, threw more pitches in the fourth than he did in the first three and just kind of hit a wall. What was the, with Hamill, what was the thought process in the fourth, kind of trying to get him through that inning, a couple of walks there before he faced? Of course. I mean, he was, yeah, I mean, he was throwing, he was throwing the ball okay up to that point. He'd given up three in the first, but it settled down nicely to that point and, uh, <clears throat> you know, got a couple outs and, and, and then the pitch count started getting, you know, getting high and, you know, Cal and I are like, man, he's starting to, he's starting to labor. Um, let's see if we can get him through this inning right here. Brantley was going to be his last hitter, though. We had Timmy ready to come in and get, you know, Ramirez if uh, Brantley ended up getting on and unfortunately ended up uh, hitting a grand slam.